Okay, so today we have a very big comparison in our hands between Xiaomi's Mi 11 and Apple's iPhone 12. Let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So yes, today we are comparing two great fan favorites which is the Xiaomi Mi 11 and Apple iPhone 12. So before we run down everything, let me just say it, um, that these devices are for two different kinds of people. So don't really take it personal if you're an Android fan or an iOS fan, just keep it on low. So with that being said, let's start with the pricing and what comes in the box so onto the pricing and the unboxing the iphone 12 starts around 830 dollars for the base model which has 64 gigabytes of storage in the box with only the phone and the lightning cord that's basically all you already knew that um apple stopped shipping the charger with the iphone 12 series and it's a shame because other brands actually followed suit but I blame Apple for it because they were the ones who started it. Whereas on the Mi 11, depending on where you buy it from actually, you can get it for around $800 for the base model which has 128GB of storage but with a lot more in the box. I'm talking a 55W Galleon Nitride charger out of the box, a clear case, a 3.5mm headphone jack to type C dongle. So yeah, you're actually getting a better bang for the box with the xiaomi but onto the build quality now things get a bit tricky not that tricky though because the mi 11 has curved screens and an aluminium frame with gorilla glass victors on the front but gorilla glass 5 on the back with a marvelous matte finish like it's just great then over to the iphone we have a very durable ceramic shield on the front an aluminium frame and an unnamed glossy glass back and um to be honest both phones have very similar build qualities just that one is curved and one is flat so it really really comes down to personal preference if you ask me then to the displays and i'll just say it the mi 11 has a better display with a 6.81 inch 1440p AMOLED display with 120 Hz compared to Apple's 6.1 inch 1170p Retina OLED display with just 60 Hz that they should have changed by now. And also the Mi 11 has a brighter display so yes no arguments there. Though both of them are good displays they are great and Apple's display sometimes you know tends to be look better sometimes but if you actually come down to everything the mi 11 has a better display than the iphone 12 simple then over to the performance okay this is where it actually gets a bit tricky in a way because the mi 11 has the qualcomm snapdragon 888 packed with 8 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of ROM base storage while the iphone has apple's latest and greatest a14 bionic chip Backed with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM big storage. Now, on paper, the iPhone actually has a more powerful chipset, but the Mi 11 has uh, more RAM and more power intensive features like uh, a bigger screen, a bigger battery, a way faster charger, and 120Hz display. So, and uh, though both devices are very powerful, you barely notice any difference in them in the normal daily usage. But if you're a gamer or someone who needs more power from you know their, their phones or the devices, I'd actually go for the Mi 11. So, next we have the cameras, and yes, now I can see all the Apple fans already smiling because they know what comes next. But let's talk about it first. Um, and this is actually where the iPhone has some domination. Yes, uh, don't get me wrong, the Xiaomi Mi 11 has more specs on paper, true, like a 108 megapixel camera, and also more features like 8K video recording. But in reality, in the real world usage, the consistency from the camera of the iPhone is just unmatched by the Mi 11. Better dynamic range, better HDR, more natural colors and like I said, though Xiaomi has 8K video recording that you probably never use but 
the stability, consistency and dominance the iPhone has in the video department or whatever is just amazing. I have to give this one the iPhone. So for the features and the modes, Xiaomi is better but for the overall base camera results and experience, I am giving it to the iPhone. Okay then over to software, I won't really talk much about the software because they are just different in their own ways. iOS wins when it comes to software optimization but Android wins when it comes to flexibility and open source. So uh, though I don't really like MIUI on Android skin, uh, but iOS versus Android always comes down to personal preference. It has been a battle right from the beginning of the iPhone. So yeah, it comes down to you. Also, there's also a couple more things to throw about the iPhone, how it has a more durable display and it has water resistance which the Mi 11 does not and also along the line it will definitely and surely get more software updates than the iPhone so that's just something to note. Okay so now coming down to the end and the decision overall which one is actually the best um well comparing these two devices like i said in the beginning of this video they are meant for two different people and um if you're actually looking for a large flexible phone that you can have fun with or game with in other words if you're a heavy user and um you like to get the best out of your phone's features the very best i would actually personally advise you to go with the xiaomi uh, but if you need a normal simple phone that has great when i say great i mean great specs a great camera system and just the overall ios simplicity and experience then obviously the iphone is for you well um tell me which one you would actually prefer or which one you'd actually go for down in the comment section don't just go there and write an iphone because if someone gave you an iphone you would collect it just personally with this video or anything you know just tell me the one you would actually prefer down in the comment section thank you very 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 much for watching this video subscribe for frequent tech leaks or videos and i'll see you next time peace